Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I've been doing a little bit of crafting this morning. This is actually um, a request from a subby that I thought I'd go ahead and do since I haven't done this yet. Um, and that is to compare the new Tim Holtz um, village dwelling die to some other house dies or chapel dies that I have. Okay, so this is the new Tim Holtz um, Biggs die. Oh, actually, Biggs XL die. And I'm just going to bring it closer so you can see what it cuts. If you purchase this die, you will get the house and the little platform that it sits upon. And then you'll get it, um, the chimney. Okay? So these are all the pieces you get um, inside of this Biggs XL die. There is a there are two accessory dies that you can purchase in addition to the house and that is this bell tower and the snowy or wintry um, mix. I don't have this um, the wintry one yet because I I ordered that from another um, seller and it hasn't come in so I can only show you what the um, bell tower looks like on top of the house. Um, and the bell tower has um, also the windows um, included, the, uh, I guess the trimming of the windows, these little arched areas. So here's that die. So you can see there's the window right there. And these, this is the way the die is laid out. So you actually have to, you know, you'll have little scraps. So just cut little um, windows out of that um, to coordinate with your, um, there's four, five windows on the house. There's one on the back you can't see one on each of the sides and two on the front. So, um, yeah, I cut, I cut these so you could actually see it. There it is. I'm going to move that forward. This is the chimney for the Tim Holtz die. I'm going to take off the bell tower so I can move it forward. Um, and I cut this out of, um, this DCWV paper and it has, it's called the pebbled stack. I just thought it might make it look like it's an old stonework sort of house. Um, I, ha I say house, but you can obviously transform it into something else. So here's the chimney. I didn't glue it down so that you could actually see me um, turn it from the house to the uh, the chapel. And in the picture, it has two um, poles here. I would use, you know, like a um, bamboo stick. Just paint the bamboo stick as opposed to using paper. But that's just my preference to, to go under the eaves here. Those don't come on the die, I don't believe. Um, and then there's a step that goes up into the house, um, which I did not glue down. I could, I can. What I used for this, um, to put it together is the Scotch Quick Dry, um, and a little bit of hot glue on some of the other dies, just because it just seemed like it would need the reinforcement. Um, I'm just going to turn it for you, but I would use a little piece of, a little hot glue right underneath the, the porch and stick it down like that so that it won't, um, pop up like that. And it is not attached, whoops, chimney fell down. It's not attached to the base. The base does not have any cuts in it like the Brenda Walton die does. And you can see here, I've added the, the outline for the windows in a different color from the paper pad. Now, one of the tips that I, I have for you is if you're going to use these little casements um, that go on the windows, add them while it's flat because um, it's easier. And I used my Xyron sticker maker. Well, this one I used glue, but it's faster if you just put them through your sticker maker um, to make them sticky on the back. And um, you can see there's a window on the back too. This one, this was a little bit more difficult to me to put together than the Brenda Walton one, um, even though they're the same idea. And I think it's because of where they have the tabs in here and how it's constructed. Because um, the only thing that's holding the roof down to the house is there's tabs on, um, little short tabs on either side of the roof line. And so that's the house that you would put together for Tim Holtz. Um, before I move on to the Brenda Walton one, let me show you the bell tower um, that transforms it into a chapel. Now, this is the front because there's a little peak right here whereas the sides have a big one, and that is so that it can fit over top of the peak in the house, um, which would give you, let's see, which would give you the, um, you know, ability to fit it down. 
and you can um, obviously you're gonna glue this part and these tabs right here and then you're gonna stick it down and hold it for a little bit now I again I would use hot glue to do this because you're not gonna see that unless it's a big blob um, you're not gonna see that um, show up there so that's what I would do in terms of um, gluing this down as opposed to using the scotch quick dry because it's gonna dry faster it's gonna cool you know and it won't go anywhere then after that Okay, so that is the way the house looks with the bell tower on. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it so that you can actually see it, since I don't have it glued down. Um, the bell tower wasn't too difficult to put together, but it does. It's a little squirrely because of the way that this middle piece here fits to the cone shape, and it's actually not a cone. It's more of a four-sided triangle. Like a not a pyramid either, right? Pyramid, yeah. I guess it would be a pyramid. Um, four sided. Um, so anyway, that's the way that the house looks like with the bell tower. And if you wanted to put the chimney on, it would be like this. Yeah, you could have the house instead of the bell tower. So um, that's the Tim Holtz house, the new one. Now, in comparison, the Brenda Walton die is, is um, to me, easier to put together, um, and it's actually more sturdy. Um, the reason I say that is because you have some options that come with it. I glued this all together because so, it doesn't have the bell tower, and you actually cannot use this bell tower on, on the house because it doesn't have, you know, the peak right here. And you would have that hole but you could fill that if you could hide that easily but it just doesn't look right in proportion you see this is the bell tower on top of the Brenda Walton house doesn't look right now the snow the snowy scene might be able to work fine with that because the snowy stuff is like just edging and stuff like that so it might work fine for this house but you can see here and I cut this out of um, white basil cardstock and then use some of my tilde scraps that were sitting around my die cutter. So I, um, you have the option on the Brenda Walton die to um, have a roof line that looks like this. You see it's zigzag. Um, this is an extra piece that you that gets cut um, as part of the die and underneath it there's a solid piece that goes all the way across. The Tim Holtz die doesn't have that um, it just has tabs on each side so it's much more sturdy on this side because there's another piece underneath the roof line um, to attach to the tabs which are actually on this piece and the side pieces so um, that's another thing and then I actually added this vertic this um, additional layer with the zigzag over top by um, folding a piece of paper in half and running it through the die for the zigzag so I could show you that there's an additional option here for either this pinking edge or you can cut um, these little scallop pieces to make it look like you know a cottage a country cottage and um, so that's a nice touch to to this roof I don't know okay so the Brenda Walton roof line could probably fit on the Tim Holtz house because they have the same dimension it looks like but if you do that hmm, if you do that you have this problem right here this little peak triangular peak in the front because this attaches to the actual you know the house so you'd have to work around that somehow and um, figure out you know where to cut the lines in here so anyway um the Brennan Walton house has this little overhang that is um, stuck to this by tabs on the inside. It cuts a slit right here and then it has this little piece that fits down into it and it has tabs on the inside that you glue down. Um, the windows, I did check to see if these windows and the windows on the Tim Holtz house, um, you could use the casement. You can't because they don't line up the same. Let me move that. They don't line up exactly. See, the Tim Holtz house has bigger windows than um, the Brenda Walton does and then here's the platform for the Brenda Walton die you can see it, it cuts this little slit here and you can then insert like a um, a light or something like that inside of the house and um, it, its platform is rectangular 
Now this die has a square, more, more square platform than the other does. See, it's more squared off. So um, they are somewhat different. I think the cottage looks better, to, to be honest. But if you want some variation in the little houses, like if you're making a Christmas village, you definitely could make like a whole neighborhood of houses that are all different styles with this. And you could make a church um, for the village. Okay, I have a bonus. Um, in addition to these two house dies, I have um, a spellbinder die. It's called the Beacon Street Chapel. Um, and the reason I cut this is because you can turn that Tim Holtz die into um, a chapel as opposed to a house. This is the Beacon Street Chapel, and I will show you the what it looks like. It's from A Gilded Life, um, from Spellbinders. And there it is. It's, it's adorable. Um, the way that they constructed this is really... This one was really easy to put together as well, I think, um, compared to the house, um, the Tim Holtz house. Um, it has the details all included in the packaging for the windows, the casements. There are casements on the window in the tower as well that are cut separately actually with this, this bigger window. You just cut multiples of them. And then it's also got this um, little vestibule in front, kind of like the house does here. But it's actually an extra piece you add on. So it, it kind of creates this little bump out that makes it look more like a house. Um, the only thing is, is that it's smaller than these two houses together. So it's not in the proper scale. You wouldn't want to use the Beacon Street Chapel along with these two houses from Tim Holtz because they're not in the right scale. So I wanted to show you that, um, in relation to these houses that I'm showing you here, um, the other side of the, um, chapel is exactly the same because what you do is you cut two pieces of the side and front are attached together. So you cut two pieces of that, you cut two vestibules, you cut two pieces of the roof, and then you just cut one of the shapes for the for the bell tower. Okay, now I happen to have handy. This is the Magnolia, the large house for Magnolia. And in relation to the Beacon Street Chapel, it's actually a pretty good size um, to the chapel. So you can see here that it might be a better, if you wanted to make a mini scene, it might be better to use this large uh, magnolia house along with it. The small magnolia house is too small. Here it is. Well, I've often thought it would be kind of cool to put, you know, like a little, little house attached to the big house. Kind of like that to make it look like a bigger house. I don't know. Um, I'd have to figure that out somehow. But, um if you wanted to make a little village scene, you know, whoops, playing with my little houses here, uh, make a little scene, it would be a little bit kind of strange to have the little house because it, it to me, doesn't look in the right scale. But I guess you could. It really is your preference. Um, so those are the houses and the churches that I have. I actually do have the uh, paper tray ink house, and it's even smaller it's probably about the size of the small house for Magnolia, but it's square. It's not um, like this. It's it, it looks like a box. Um, so anyway, that's what I just wanted to share with you all. And I hope this helps um, you guys kind of understand what the scale is of things. Let me show you the packaging for the Brenda Walton die. This die is discontinued, but they brought it back um, this year because of the demand for it. So this die is now available again, but it's not gonna come in this pink packaging. It's gonna come in a new updated packaging. So it used to look like this, if you can find it, um, like this or the other packaging, you'll get that die that I showed you the house for. And then the Tim Holtz die, you guys know that his stuff is like this now, and this is the packaging for it. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and share that with you since somebody had requested it. And now you can see all of the pieces together and what they look like. Um, let me see if I can get a better view. Sorry, my finger got in the way there. Oh, there we go. Um, of all of the houses and the churches together. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye now.